hello friends today i will show you how to calculate uh, a full width of maxima of uh, xrd peak using uh, uh, using xrd data so for this uh, we have uh, for this we have uh, xrd data uh, generally xrd data given by the instrument uh, available in the uh, text file so this is our data for uh, to calculate uh, full width of maxima mm. in this uh, we have selected then then for a peak p this data uh, paid paste in origin file we are using origin software to calculate uh, full width of maxima of uh, xrd peak uh, xrd peak this is origin software we have need to you can see you can see origin software angle 2 theta 1.62 59.4 degree select generally xrd data given by the instrument or uh, as we have uh, selected 10 to 80 degrees celsius but, uh, in but now in this video we are you we are calculating width half maxima for a particular particular peaks selected of a uh, selected range angle angle 7.62 59 4 we have a need to go in analysis you can see here are the very large number of the origin softwares full width how maxima we need to go in analysis in analysis we have to go in p baseline so this we can see it we can see only a single peak is available between this range so we can select a single peak fit or a multiple peak fits only single peak fits used for single peaks and multiple peaks used for to fitting of a multiple peaks or uh, to calculate uh, full width of maxima of uh, more than one peaks but uh, in this we have uh, we will use uh, a multiple because uh, if you can understand use of uh, multiple peak for single peak uh, so you can use it uh, for more than one number more than one peaks so we will go in analysis peak and baseline then multiple peak fits and in open dialogs you can see dialog is open or dialog is open here we can calculate it manually auto we can use a gauss tangent why we get to calculate the full width of maxima this is the akash curve shape a gaussian curve a lorenz curve and we get here we need to get if we have a need to write how many how many peaks we are using now in this we have using and we have no need to change other parameter click 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 on okay and okay this is the, please double click on the center of x so we have a need a like here 
you can say see uh, approximately this will be the center of peak so now and uh, yeah nice you can see uh, our experiment is the uh, black color but uh, we have a Gaussian peak over uh, is only because only that we have a uh, curve sorry we have a fitting a fit curve fitting on our experimental data so now you red color and go to book the, this is the sheets uh, which is our which is the uh, given data and data and this is a now you can see there are some constants there are some constants which are which follow the increase or decrease of curve. And this is the full width and how maxima. Now you can see full width, which is 0 0.3629. So using the seen there full width and how maxima is 0 0.36 here the uh, 36295 this is due to uh, this is peak type here we can change our uh, peak, uh, sorry here we can change our peak type uh, in uh, low range and Gaussian sorry Lorenz and Voigt in this you can see as you when you calculate using other curves you can see a minor change can be observed in the full width maxima of how maxima of any peaks in in my previous video on a reason I show you how to plot a graph in of FTIR or XRD but in this video we have just to see that how to calculate full width, full, full width and half maxima and this is also known as a deconvolution of peak so I hope all I hope uh, all of you uh, studied how to calculate full width and half maxima and uh, so I don't show you how to save data of origin this is a new file you can only control s or save save project so here you can see the looks we need to show it XRD. This is our XRD file. You can also use other software to calculate the full width half maxima of any peak. It may be of XRD, it may be of XPS, it may be of FTIR. But the software can be common like Horizon or XPEX software. This is also another to calculate the full width, half maxima, area under the curves, uh, goes goes fitting, Lorentz fitting. In which I need also I need to tell you one more thing. Gaussian fitting and this is the totally hundred percent Gaussian fitting. But in this software XPS, it may be sum of two peaks like uh, low range, 50% low range or 50% uh, 
Gaussian. But in origin, this will be only 